What a difference a month has made. After a mild January, February has hit us with full winter force this year. In fact, at 31 inches of snow, there's an outside chance Missoula could even break the all-time record for the most snow in February. We've already had some severe cold both in early December and again earlier this month. This coming weekend could be worse. This actually could be the coldest air mass of the season yet to come this way. Um, so it's all a matter of how we clear off at night and how the snow on the ground, how cold we're going to actually get, but, but we're concerned about that. That's because we're quickly getting into the time of the year for calving and when spring should start to be sprung. At the end of December, there had been worries about the snowpack in the Bitterroot with averages running below 100%. Not now, the snow totals have soared to 144% in less than a month. In fact, this is more the kind of month you would expect in a La Nina year, not when the ocean temperatures are neutral. No, that has not been the driving force. It's uh, and maybe that's why we've been so variable, you know, from a real warm, spoilless type weather in, in January to, to now better weather for the skiers and, and, and whatnot. So the forecast models are suggesting the current weather pattern should shift soon. But even then, March could be a wet one, setting the stage for potential flooding. Not so much in the Flathead in northwest Montana, but definitely in the south. Particularly from, you know, basically I-90 corridor south, if you will, the Bitterroot and Upper Clark Fork and those places. To the north, we're more normal, uh, normal in those basins. Uh, I wish it was that easy to say it will flood down here and it won't up there. That's not the case. At Lolo Pass, Dennis Bragg, MTN News.